Alright, welcome to Hornywood Hedgehog Sanctuary. This little hedgehog, well it's not too little actually, it's fair size, but it's obviously come out of hibernation. Um, found in someone's garden locally in Wheat Hampstead. And um, it looks alright, it was actually found in some shoes uh, by someone's doorstep, obviously um, looking for some food. Found some cat biscuits and then decided to set camp up uh, under some shoes. So um, we're going to be returning this hedgehog back to the garden today but um, from the photos that I was sent by the person from the rescue they said there was some ticks on it and I did see quite a few I mean one or two ticks is not the end of the world but um, there are a few ticks on this hedgehog that are around the face so I don't know if you can zoom into that we'll be taking them off and there's a few on the other side hidden amongst the uh, spines there so they're not really too hard to get off um the ones that are difficult are the ones that are inside the body because as you can see the hedgehog's all curled up so really hard to to take off the ticks inside the body there but anyway i don't think there's any in there i'm going to have a, a, a good look around if i can i can actually uncurl the hedgehog if i put them on the right side up and very gently i can get them to uncurl but then it's very difficult to to have a look underneath them um so today we're going to be using tick pullers uh, various different types of these. Um, let's just take this glove off. Um, the, this particular brand comes in two different sizes. It's just for the size of the tick. Uh, there's a large one which we'll be using, and there's a smaller one for such as tiny ticks. But these are all fairly large ticks that are on this hedgehog. So uh, the way you use these is, um, if I just zoom into here. So you wrap, so the actual hedgehog itself, you kind of put the uh, tick pillar underneath the hedgehog's body uh, towards the, head, um, the tick's head, which is latched onto the skin of the hedgehog. And you, it basically um, goes between the tick's head and the tick's body. And then what you do is you push it into the tick, give it a twist and then pull up and then all going well, the tick will come off. So the problem, um, you have to be careful with this is the occasionally the head can be stuck on the hedgehog you pull the body of the tick off and the actual um head still stuck on the hedgehog which is bad and can actually do more damage than good for the hedgehog as far as health goes because there's a possibility of infection so you've got to be very very careful with this um i guess it's the same if you get ticks on pets and things like that you've probably seen these before there's different types but Use these ones, so yeah, I'm gonna be using that. I'm not gonna show you the actual pulling of the ticks, but I will show you some of the ticks that get off, and we'll put them into a little pot there, and then we will dispose of them because they are parasites and they serve no purpose. But um, yeah, so let's get on with that. Right, there's the first lot of ticks that are the ones that are easy. I've taken off, so the entire body is clear now. So there are still some more. Unfortunately around the hedgehog's face, but this little hedgehog is determined not to let me see his face. So I will show you the ticks we've taken off so far. I don't know how many we've taken off. Let's have a look. Um, probably 20 or so. Maybe 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, about 20-ish. Yeah, so these guys, um, they all came off really well. There's a close view of that one. Um, all the heads are still on there, squirming around the place. Not very nice, these little things. These are quite big ticks, actually, and they tend to fall off naturally when they get to a certain size. But they're like little bloodsuckers, little vampires. So I will be disposing of these ones, and I'll carry on, see if I can get some more off. Yep, we've got a few more off. So we've got a ton of ticks now. I have not got them all off. Um, because there's little holes causing complications and just won't unravel fully, but um, there's another stack of them. The hedgehog is starting to uncurl a little bit, but I can still see some more in there. But the majority of them have been taken off, so should be a lot more comfortable. Yeah, I noticed some fleas on there, so I'm going to treat them, them as well. But there we go. So let's um, let's return this hedgehog back to its 
lovely garden. And these are some photos on the rescue. As you can see, the uh, abundant amount of um, ticks on the poor thing. Um, most of the ticks were removed. There were a couple left on underneath that I couldn't get to. Um, there were also fleas on the hedgehog, which we treated. Uh, you can probably see them in this photo here. There's one there, there's one there. There's a few of them um, when I was taking the ticks off that I saw. So that's all been sorted. Um, there's another photo of the before. And this is where the hedgehog was found very kindly by Katie from Wheat Hampstead in Hertfordshire, tucked under her some old shoes that were by the door. Um, the hedgehog did find some cat biscuits, so it was obviously hungry, and um, some water and the shallow bowl was put out for the hedgehog the day before the rescue, and also some more cat biscuits. So it was very hungry. <clears throat> and then this is the... Uh, Hedgehog being released, so a makeshift hedgehog house was created in the garden, same garden it came from, not in the same spot, um, which was a, a plant pot that was turned to its sides, um, filled with dried leaves, and then there was a wooden plank at the front with a hole in the front, 13 centimetre ish hole for the hedgehog to scurry out of when it wants to. So, good job, thank you very much. Um, yeah, another successful rescue. Bye bye.